everyone, it's Reagan, and oh my god, it's Monday. <laughs> Which can only mean one thing now around these parts is that it is the start of another work day, reading, work, work in my life type vlog. Sorry if I'm mildly disoriented, I actually just got home. So, um, last week was the week of Thanksgiving. Long story short is, our flight yesterday was canceled due to inclement weather in the Northeast, so we flew back today. My mom only lives an hour and a half by flight away, but it took us like eight hours to get home, so it's past six on Monday. But I'm starting this vlog because I did work today, actually, and I'm gonna continue to work tonight and like kind of go through my emails and stuff, because I was like online, offline throughout the day. But I wanted to start this vlog until this year. Um, because I wanted to vlog for the rest of my week, even though my Monday kind of spontaneously turned into a travel day when it was not supposed to be. Um, but yes, yeah, so I actually have pretty big plans, big plans, because I want to read everything this month, and I'm really gonna try to read so much this week, because I've honestly failed epically at reading for the past two weeks, so I'm really trying to turn that around. So I figured it might be a good vlog, because I'm hopefully gonna be reading everything in the whole wide world <laughs> but yeah i just got home matilda um traveled with us today as well she did pretty good actually i wanted to start the vlog and to say hi it's monday so monday is obviously gonna be a bit of a wash in terms of like content but i'm obviously gonna vlog throughout tonight and this evening and then throughout the rest of the week as well um and yes i'm gonna go through what i hope to read but first i'm actually gonna go pick up my dinner I had grand plans to go to the grocery store tonight, but our flight, we just were so delayed coming back to New York that I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And tonight I'm just gonna go pick up a salad and eat it on the couch. <laughs> so that is my plan. So I'm actually gonna go do that right now because it's ready to be picked up. It's actually snowing in New York City, which is part of why it took so long for us to get home. Um, but yes, now I'm rambling. I'm gonna go pick up my salad. We'll do that together. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk through things I hope to read this week. But yeah, check in in a minute. I'm wearing my new fleece line Doc Martens. It's really gross outside. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, back with my delicious shroomy salad from Sweet Green. Matilda's here, I'm about to put some TV on. I am all of a sudden feeling so much better now that I have food in my vicinity. As I was saying before I left, I have a busy week, but I'm really hoping I get a lot of reading in because I really have not read very much. This is probably the least amount I've read in a year since college, so it's totally fine. But uh, that being said, I am very motivated right now to kind of get to reading. That being said, the book I'm currently reading is The Queen of Nothing, which is by Holly Black. It's super highly anticipated. I'm really excited to read this, and I am 80 pages along in this book so far, so I'm actually hoping to finish this either tonight or tomorrow and then maybe even read another one this week. So that is my hope, that is my plans. I don't know the other book I plan to pick up, but I'm definitely reading this right now, so this is my number one priority. Those are my reading plans for the next like 24 to 48 hours. I'm gonna attack this salad I picked up because I'm starving and I'm going to watch the newest episode of Survivor because I didn't get to watch it last week um, while I was at my mom's house for Thanksgiving. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll check in in a bit once I eat, decompress, and try to ignore my super messy apartment. Just finished my salad, finishing up this Survivor episode, and I am feeling aces now. I honestly needed some food because I hadn't eaten all day. I realized that as I was eating that delicious salad, and now I feel great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll check in and chat more about the Queen of Nothing. Matilda and I took a quick Schitt's Creek break. She is napping here because, you know, she didn't do enough napping today on the plane. But I'm about to stop watching TV and get started reading The Queen of Nothing. As I've mentioned, I am 80 pages into this book. I am really going to try to maybe finish it tonight. Um, I feel strongly about that because, one, this book is not long. I have 220 pages left, basically. It reads so quickly. The font is pretty big. If I can't finish it tonight, get a good way of through it tonight, I'll also be very satisfied with that as well. Um, because I just, I know at this point, I'm not gonna hit my uh, reading goal, which is 70 books, but I really wanna at least try to get to 60 books this year, which means I need to read about seven or eight books in the month of December. So all that being said, I'm gonna try to read quite a bit 
tonight and just throughout this week which is why I'm trying to say like I'm super motivated to read because I really want to end the year strong and there's also so many books that have come out that I want to read so I just need to get to them um also tonight I've like finally relaxed that salad from Sweet Green was delicious. I also did a little bit of picking up. I just felt like I had stuff everywhere. So I was like, I need to spend like 15 minutes to get this a little more organized. But right now I'm done with doing anything tonight. I'm gonna put some football on TV and just kind of have that on in the background. Then I'm gonna sit on the couch with Matilda and get some reading in and then maybe make some cookies later. But I'm gonna turn some football on and get to reading. Hi friends, checking in because I have a great reading update for you guys. I have officially passed the halfway point and I'm in book two, well the second part of this book, because um, I've read 70 pages. I'm on page 150. I'm really liking this book. I knew I would um, because this series is just so captivating and has such fascinating characters and I'm always shocked with how much plot Holly Black can kind of put into honestly not a lot of pages. Usually when things happen really quickly, I get frustrated. I'm like, that's too convenient. There's nothing that's being flushed out. But it never bothers me with Holly Black because she's able to just be so concise and articulate everything in such a way where the shorter length doesn't hinder its like plot development. Also, Cardin and Jude, I would <coughs> apparently actually die for. But I'm now gonna change into PJs and go read in bed i'm gonna keep reading i'm hoping obviously to finish this or at least get you know read like a hundred more pages at the very least tonight which i don't foresee being a problem um i am trying to go to bed kind of earlier than i might usually because i'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and actually film some videos because our flight got canceled on sunday i basically just lost my window to film for the week and I still really, you know, I still have two videos I wanna put out this week. So because of that, I'm just gonna wake up early before work and film then. I think I should be able to maybe film both tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna wake up like 30, 45 minutes early. It's not like crazy early. I'm not waking up at like 5 a.m. to do this. But I should be able to like film one tomorrow, Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, and then I should be all caught up, which should be good. Uh, I'm hoping it's not too cloudy tomorrow. I've never filmed in the morning, so I'm also hoping I like wake up and I'm not super groggy. But if if you watch my um, November wrap up, you're like Reagan seems half asleep. You know why? It's because I woke up in the morning and I filmed that video. But anyway, I am going to go lay in bed now. I'm actually honestly kind of sad to leave my living room because it's so cozy. I mean, look, I got a candle. I'm obsessed with our Christmas tree. We got a flocked tree this year from. I think it's like best choice products or something. It was on sale. I'll link it down below if it's still available. It's a six foot slim option, which I think just fits so much better in our apartment. And then there's nothing festive over there. I still haven't unpacked. But I do think we're, I'm gonna go try to find like a Christmas tree market and get a reef for our door. Cause I think that would be really cute. But yeah, candle, like how I have books as presents because you know, duh. And then uh, here's Matilda. But we're about to go lounge about in bed and keep the reading game going. She's like, please stop talking to me. I've had a long day. And here we are, Matilda and I in bed. And I am here with my hydro flask <laughs> and my book. <laughs> Matilda's being so drama. She's like, don't look at me. Okay, anyway. Time to watch uh, also this Vikings game and hope they lose. I got lots of good reading in. I did not finish, but I'm almost finished. But as you can hear from my rain sounds, I have to go to bed. I'm so tired and I have to wake up early part of them. So I'm going to do that. Good night and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. I was just filming and now I'm going to show you my outfit. So this is what I'm wearing today. Just wearing this like ski sweater, some jeans, my Doc Martens, which I haven't been able to take off since I bought them because they're so flipping comfortable. Um, perks of waking up early to film is I'm up early and dressed for work as well. I honestly could not tell you the quality of the video I just filmed because speaking after just waking up is not my strong suit. So hopefully I am 
some sort of coherent. I don't know. So I apologize in advance, but it's filmed though. <laughs> You are now on your book tripod. Anyway, so I just got home from work. It's about 7 p.m. I went to Trader Joe's during my lunch break because I'd rather do it then than after work. It's really depressing to run errands when it's like pitch black outside because of the winter. I did have an unlucky uh, strap break. But I picked up very important groceries <laughs> uh, to make lunch, or rather, well, lunch, which I left at work. And then dinner which I'm worried I like mushed a little bit um, for the next couple of days. I only got stuff really for like two days because it's already Tuesday and I'm not sure what my Thursday plans are, but I figured I would show you. So I bought stuff to make one of my favorite super fast salads. It's really tasty, it's pretty healthy, and it takes like no time at all and no effort, which is why I really like it. So the base is arugula, but you can use any lettuce you want. I just really like arugula. And then for the vinaigrette, I literally just use olive oil and lemon. So I picked up a couple of lemons, some cucumber, cucumber, feta cheese, imperatively important. And then I already own spicy, um, sunflower seeds which I'll put on top and then my secret ingredient is chicken tenders <laughs> so I love putting cut up chicken tenders in my salad because one breaded chicken is delicious two it freezes and it's always like nifty to have on hand and like a salad is pretty much healthy anyway so like throwing a little bit of breaded chicken on it isn't gonna hurt anyone and it just makes it so much easier and I also hate plain chicken breast more than pretty much anything in this world and cooking it is one of my least favorite things in the world so I always rather just do a frozen outfit so that's gonna be my dinner for the next couple days. It's gonna be super good. And I also picked up this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip, which is so good. And it's like mostly Greek yogurt, so it's not like terrible for you either. And it's so good for vegetables, pretzels, whatever you wanna dip in it, it's delish. But yeah, that's my grocery haul. I'm now going to get changed out of my work clothes and edit a video that I filmed this morning. And then I'm going to start dinner, watch the challenge, and get to reading as well. So just wanted to say hi, I'm home. Check out this grocery haul. Challenge is on, and my chicken fingers are done, so I'm now gonna construct the salad, and I'll show you all the pieces once I cut up the things and such. So here is the base of my salad. It's arugula, feta, cucumber, salt, pepper, olive oil, what did I forget, sunflower seeds, and I'm about to cut up my chicken and throw it in there, and then literally dinner is served. My favorite way to spend a Tuesday challenge and a tasty salad. Watching a quick episode, Matilda's here. I also got my favorite snack of peanut butter pretzels and Hershey Kisses. And I'm also gonna take this time to figure out what I want to read next, because I'm almost done with the queen of nothing, so I need to figure out the next book on my TBR. When it's time for bed, but Matilda can't make up her mind on what toy she wants to bring. It's now or never, girlfriend, we're going. Come on, what are you gonna bring? Ah, closest one always wins. Hi everyone, so I fell down a bit of an internet hole, as one always does. I just lost track of time a little bit tonight. I got home later from work, um, and you know, didn't, I finished editing like a little past eight, then I ate dinner, and then before I knew it, it was like 9.30, and then I went on my phone, I went on YouTube, and then I killed more time, and here we are, almost bedtime, and I have not started reading yet. But that's okay, because I'm gonna do it now, and I still feel very strongly I'll be able to finish this tonight. I'm on page two. 20. I read a little bit on the train today. Funny thing is this book has some steamy moments and I was reading it on the train and there's something about a physical copy versus an ebook but it got like there's like a steamier scene that like popped up and all of a sudden I was like I feel like I cannot read this. 
on the train at 8 a.m. surrounded by all these strangers. I was like, it just feels really weird. <laughs> so I normally would have read more than 20 pages on my commute, but that happened and I had a bit of a crisis on the train this morning. I also figured out what I feel like I think I'm gonna pick up next um, after I finish Queen of Nothing, and that is Bringing Down the Duke, which is apparently like a really fun historical fiction romance, which sounds really up my alley. And honestly, what I feel like reading, like I want the contemporary fun, but I don't want it to be set in our contemporary time period. So I feel like this really will be perfect. I'm hoping it just like completely captivates me as like a really fast read, really entertaining and has lovable characters, but we shall see. I will report back. But that being said, I'm going to finish Queen of Nothing right now. So that's my plan. No more distractions, nothing else. It's significantly past my bedtime, but I only have 30 pages left. So I'm making great progress. I've also will have read over 200 pages in two days, which I'll be really pleased with from a work day perspective. But I just wanted to check in and say, I'm getting really tired, but I only have 30 pages left. I'm also really, really liking this book. This one is just reading so fast. Um, I do wish a little bit, if I'm being honest, that some of these plot points that are being kind of introduced had more time to be developed because, I mean, there's only 30 pages left and I don't obviously know how it's going to be resolved and it might not be resolved in 30 pages, but I hope it's not because I feel like that would just be way too fast and <laughs> convenient. Like, something bad can happen and exist for like 25 pages in a book. Like, that can't be the main plot point. Anyway, though. Other than that though, I'm really liking this. I'm going to finish it. 33 pages left. It's happening right now. You heard it here, folks. First, folks, and then I'm going to sleep because it is really late. <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning. It's officially very cold in NYC because I'm double layering my coats, but let me show you what I'm wearing today. Honestly, I didn't know what to wear, so I just kept it really simple. Um, I have an early meeting, so I also needed to get out the door. So I'm literally just wearing this like silk printed blouse and some skinny jeans, these are made well, and then some brown Chelsea boots which are from Nisolo. So just like easy, easy breezy outfit, but I'm gonna head out now. Good morning and I'll see you when I get home. Friends, I'm home from work. I've been home for about like 30 minutes. I've just been kind of decompressing. I've started watching a Real Housewife episode. I got the tree lit. Um, and I wanted to say, because I haven't been able to say, because I, I went to bed instead of updating you guys last night, but I finished the Queen of Nothing, which I'm so excited about. I ended up really liking it. I think my criticism that I mentioned last night stands, but I hoping wasn't going to be the case, but the strengths of this book are the beautiful writing, the characters, and all of that is true. Like. I'm so invested in everyone in the world and for the most part I felt like Holly Black was really successful with her plots in that like wow she made she her books these the series books are short so even though there wasn't a lot of time or page length given to the plots I just felt like they were developed except the end plot I felt like to me personally this might be a little bit um, controversial but I just don't feel like enough time was developed for like everything just felt like it was like this was the you know one of the big cumulative huge moments and it was like there and over it so quickly so I'd say like that's probably my biggest complaint I still really enjoyed the series and I really liked the book and I would highly recommend it it didn't leave me necessarily unsatisfied but I would say this is probably the weakest in the series just because I felt like everything just felt so fast like I really feel like if this book was 500 pages, 600 pages, it would have been a masterpiece because we would have had, there would have been more like anxiety and build up to the end of that plot, which it just, there just wasn't for me personally. That being said though, did fly through it, really liked it. That means I've also read 223 pages so far um, and I haven't even done any reading tonight. So I'm really hoping to read over 500 pages this work week because I really don't have a lot going on after work. I had dinner plans for tomorrow, but I think um, they're gonna get canceled because my friend's feeling under the weather. So I don't want her to push herself and I also don't want to get sick. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna start reading, I think, Bringing Down the Duke tonight unless I change my mind, which honestly could happen. I have had the most fickle reading mood this year. I like, it's, a book will sound exactly what I want to read and then five minutes later I'm like, nope, 
no one not interested i'm interested in this book now so we'll see what i end up actually picking up tonight but for now i'm going to start my chicken fingers so i can have my salad for dinner i think i'm gonna have a snack too and just kind of watch some bravo and decompress for a bit um i need to clean the apartment like i need to, i need to do some laundry and i need to clean out my suitcase so i'm gonna do that too despite not Maybe not wanting to. I'm also gonna buy Star Sight off Amazon right now because I really do want to read the book and I don't have it in my possession. So, <laughs> want to watch me do a quick <laughs> come book shopping with me? Hold and proceed to check out and ordered place. Hope you guys liked this uh, book shopping vlog. <laughs> oh yeah, follow Brandon Sanderson. I'll do that. <laughs> did I mention Clay and I got new bedding? We did. We actually ordered it like over two months ago but it was on back order. We still have our old quilt. Uh, we just wanted something a little warmer for winter time, so we got something that was like velvety and such. But yeah, I'm a really big fan, so is Matilda. You know, <laughs> per usual. But yeah, we still have our floral quilt. We'll probably put it back on in the summer. But yeah, we got this. It's from Anthropology. That pillow's from Urban Outfitters. Ta da! The most difficult part of making dinner is putting these chicken fingers in the oven, slash waiting for them. Good luck. Oh wow, they all got crowded. Well, that really ruined the shot. My chicken fingers cook. I'm gonna have a pre-dinner snack with this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip, which is so good. Uh, good with vegetables too. And it's like not terrible for you. I love a not terrible for you snack so I can eat a lot of it and therefore make it terrible for me due to its volume. <laughs> Salad is made. Real Housewives of Dallas is on. I'm laxing. I am gonna watch a little more TV because I'm gonna paint my nails. My nails are not an absolute disaster right now. But I think I'm gonna move on from Bravo and watch some Netflix, you know, switch it up, keep things fresh. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I've wasted an exceptional amount of time tonight. It's about 10.30, um, but I feel like I have a good reason. Well, a good enough reason for me. And that is because Spotify came out with their end of year like statistics for all the music you've listened to and I signed up for Spotify at the beginning of this year purely for that reason. I love stats, so I do good reads. I just wanted all that information so when it came out, I all our all my friends and I were like talking about it. Clay, Clay and I had a phone call about it because we were all breaking down like what we were listening to for the year and a lot of them too because it's like an end of a decade. They had like decade data so you know reminiscing like what was 2014 you know stuff like that. Anyway though if you're curious my most listened to artist is 1975 and all of my top five songs were from the same artist Rit Momney from his new album. I listened to the crap out of that album over the summer. And honestly, still now, I, it's like one of the best albums ever. So I didn't have a whole lot of different songs because it was all from the same place. Um, but anyway, yeah, so now I'm gonna go listen to some early Noah Gunderson and I picked out a different book. I was gonna read uh, the uh, Bringing Down the Duke, changed my mind. I'm not surprised, uh, cause I'm fickle. And so I've decided to pick up Ninth House instead cause I'm feeling emo and I want something with a little more like dramatic angst. And I feel like this will be hopefully pretty dark and it's not crazy long, 437 pages. And I'm hoping this has like a super propelling narrative as well. So I'm gonna go start this right now. No more, you know, breaking down Spotify stats. It's time to get to reading. Oh, I also painted my nails, so. I did do that as well. I'm gonna go grab some Hershey Kisses and it's time to go. Matilda has her weird noose rope toy. <laughs> Odd one. Used to have a ball on the end of it, was more of a tug of war, but she's kind of, you know, broken it apart. I also have a handful of Hershey Kisses because treat yourself, it's Wednesday. You know, that's how we do it in my household and my book. So we're gonna get to read it. We're doing it. Okay, reading update. I've read 30 pages. <laughs> this book is, I don't want to use the word slow going, but I'm reading it kind of slowly um, because I'm trying to get oriented. This book kind of like drops you in to say the least. Um, but from what I can tell, I okay, to preface, I didn't look anything up about this book except reading like the first couple of sentence blurb. Um, and like the inside flap and I just know people like it so well I think it actually kind of has mixed reviews but 
from what I can gather so far, our main character goes to Yale and she's part of the secret society. And they, they definitely use magic. The kind of magic that like when they were doing at the turn of the century was like creepier and darker and like it's still creepy and dark now, but it, she somehow added like this modern element to it where it just seems not silly, but like some people are playing and some people are really using magic kind of thing. But I'm intrigued. There's a murder as stated in the first chapter. Um, so I'm really truly trying to get oriented in this story. I'm hoping it's gonna be one of those books that it become like once you like kind of get your bearings it starts moving really quickly because you're just trying to piece everything together i really like the concept of secret societies in yale like really pretentious people um and things like that within a book i don't know i, I find those tropes to be kind of fascinating but anyway i'm gonna get back to reading because i'm gonna try to get to page 50 before i go to bed tonight because it is getting late and i don't want to stay up past midnight like i did last night so but I just wanted to check in and let you know that I have started. Hi everyone, it's me. I stayed up way too late last night reading Ninth House. I didn't even get that far, but I just stayed up way too late. But anyway, here's what I'm wearing to work. Uh, I'm wearing this like ketchup colored, you know, sweater. I thought it only made sense to pair it with some mustard pants. <laughs> I really don't know what else to call this besides like mustard and ketchup. But yeah, they're just some flares. They're fun. Um, I have like a little hair scarf in some earrings it's really comfortable soft um, stretchy pants so we're ready to go I think I'm gonna change my shoes though something else probably some loafers but hey TBD treating myself to a picked up lunch today because I'm too lazy to pack anything this morning so here we are Essen is my favorite the same thing every time. Yum. Hi friends, it's Reagan. I am home from work. Um, it's a little past seven and Matilda and I are playing. But tonight's a big night for a few reasons. One, the Bears play, so I'm obviously gonna be watching that. Two, it's a night I'm gonna get my life together. This week has felt very strange because it's Thursday, but it feels like Wednesday, which is a good thing. That means the weekend like snuck up on me but I'm like disoriented from it. Um, regardless though, I'm gonna spend about the hour and a half before the Bears game starts kind of cleaning up around the apartment and stuff like that. But before I do that, I wanted to check in and let you know I read more Ninth House. So last night I think I read to page like 50, probably no, 40 before I fell asleep in all honesty. Um, and then today I read 25 more pages, so I'm on page 65 and I'm really liking it. I think last night it took me a little bit to like that 40 pages took me longer than I think it usually would um, because I was rereading a lot of stuff because I was really disoriented but now I feel like I finally have my bearings in the story and I'm really liking it. So I don't know if I very clearly explained last night <laughs> but this basically right now we're following a girl and the timeline keeps shifting forward and back. It's centered around a murder or some sort of mystery. I'm not totally sure of like what exactly has gone wrong, but we know something has gone wrong. We follow our main character, Alex, who has a very mysterious and murky past, and she's basically plucked out of a really bad situation in California and brought to Yale to become a freshman at Yale because she has a special ability to see ghosts. And essentially why she was plucked is because she has been recruited to join a secret society that kind of monitors other secret societies at Yale. Essentially Yale is one of the last remaining places in America that has like access to the arcane and these very old secret societies um, practice magic and do it in a variety of different ways. So she's part of the organization at the school that basically like watches and regulates these societies and prevents them from like killing a lot of people or just kind of abusing their powers more than they already are. So that's kind of where she is. And in this story so far, again, it's jumping forward and back in time. So we're kind of following her as she first goes to Yale and is being like trained by someone and like what to do. And then in the future, when like her mentor has gone missing, I think, or like something like that. And she's basically like trying to make it through and survive. And like, I don't know, it's very good though. <laughs> um, and it just took me a while to kind of piece all that together because it's definitely not a book that's like, here's what's going on. Hi, welcome to this story. You're like jumping forward and back in time. It's like a little disorienting. And if you're tired late at night, it just took me a minute. But now I am very much rooted in the book 
and I'm liking it. I love stuff like this. I love the use of magic. It's like, it is definitely fantasy, like there's definitely magic, but it's more like academia magic. Like it's a lot of reading and like research to try like, like make certain types of potions like the knowledge has definitely been mostly lost so the people who are trying to practice it have to go through a lot of hoops to be able to use it and it's not like it's like crazy powerful like it's definitely useful and people are using magic to their benefit but i think it's just like an interesting approach to magic or fantasy generally um in the secret society setting and the yale setting it's just really 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 good and i really so far like our main character but there's also just this like the nature of a secret society is it's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretentious. <laughs> and our main character coming from not a very rich or white background is definitely very critical of everything, which I think is great as well. Um, but yeah, so far I'm liking it. Like, as I said, I'm 65 pages in. I definitely plan to read another good chunk of this tonight during the football game. Um, because honestly, it's really hooked me. Like, at first I was like, oh, what's going on? But I don't know last chapter really captured my attention and i am intrigued and i also feel like this would make a great tv show or movie but that's besides the point but i just wanted to pop in and say sup i'm here i'm reading um but i'm actually gonna clean and put stuff away because the apartment's a little messy and it's been three days since i got back from thanksgiving so i have no more excuses to not pick up but yes yes <laughs> watching the challenge final loving it hate Polly and I did some cleaning I put laundry away things are looking better those are boxes that I need to mail so that's why they're there but things are looking good I have a holiday candle lit I rotate between my current favorites oh cursing in the background after sledding and this evergreen candle from anthropology holiday candles are my favorite Bear's game is officially on and I am going to start my very gourmet dinner. As I said, I initially had dinner plans tonight so I didn't buy groceries. So that means I'm making some Annie's mac and cheese, which is my favorite bad and fast thing for me to make for dinner. I just love mac and cheese from the box, so I'm going to make this. Oh yeah, time to carb load, Millie. Oh, I just love mac and cheese. <laughs> Great news, bears are winning at the half. Woo! I'm gonna take a quick shower while it's half time and then I'm gonna do a face mask and then I'm gonna try to do some reading. I haven't read because I've been watching the game, but I do plan on reading tonight. Never fear because as I said earlier, I'm loving my book and my apartment is clean and it just makes me feel so like, like my life is finally back together. Only took three days, but anyway, I have to go take a shower now. Half time is almost over. Hi. It's me. <laughs> All right, the bears squeaked away. Well, no, actually they played really well tonight, so that made me happy, but I was able to also read to page 100 near the tail end of the bears game. Matilda's here trying to show me her toy. <laughs> um, but I've retreated into the bedroom because I am going to read more right now. I'm gonna stay up late tonight again. I'm being irresponsible with my bedtimes, but I'm trying to be responsible with my reading. <laughs> Tomorrow is actually an exciting work day. In that, I'm actually leaving the office at 2. I took a couple hours of PTO to go to an influencer work thing because I was invited to an event. I'm, it's kind of a rare thing for me. When, well, I do sometimes get invited to things, but I often turn them down because I have work. <laughs> I have like a different job I have to go to, but this one was like ice skating in Bryant Park and I invited Monica, so I thought, you know what? Let's just go and do it and take a couple hours off. You know it's worth it and I'm really excited so I'm gonna bring you guys along to that tomorrow um, I have like a Christmassy outfit to wear and everything it's gonna be really really cute but right now I'm going to read <laughs> I'm gonna try my goal is to read over 200 pages of this book generally between today and tomorrow and then finish it during the weekend um, so to do that I need to get to reading but I'm just I'm liking it a lot it's totally captured my attention I still have really no idea what like is gonna happen which is good or like even what's going on for that matter but I'm fine with that um so there's only one way to find out and that's to read the dang book also my skin glowing I love those moisture face masks oh, they're just top notch but anyway leaving time to read goodbye toodles hi everyone good morning I'm running super late very behind I stayed up way too late last night reading um ninth house 
But I'm about to head out the door. I'm actually wearing some new clothes. So I mentioned last night I'm going to an event. So part of that is the clothes. So it's a Jules clothing event. So I'm wearing a new parka by them and some new boots. And I have a festive sweater packed away in my backpack, which I'm going to change into when I go. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Hi. My work lobby has uh, musicians today. In Times Square right now, walking over to Bryant Park, but I always forget how overwhelming this part of the city is. But I'm meeting up with Monica by the ice rink, so I'm on my way. We've arrived at the Jules event, and look, we got hot cocoa. We're right by Bryant Park ice skating rink. They're cleaning it. The Zamboni's out. Biggest Zamboni fan right here. Love it. <laughs> so this event is super cute. I'm taking my hat off because I'm inside. But it's basically you can ice skate at Bryant Park. Um, so I grew up in Texas, so I've never ice skated in my entire life. But I gave it a try, and by I made it like four feet, and then I had to evacuate quickly and get back off the ice. It's like moving on swords, but not also on a slippery surface. She was a pro. Michelle Kwan who? <laughs> I did get a really cute pick though, so that's what mattered. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it was so scary, but I'm proud of myself for even giving it a little bit of credit. There's all these children who were like, like a little child who like pirouetted next to I know. To you. <laughs> I was like, don't mind me. I'm just, just trying to stand still. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Sidebar adventure to this super pretty tree in this swanky hotel that I believe, as told by Monica, was in Gossip Girl. Ah, oh, pretty. Nice view of the Rockefeller tree and Monica and the frozen winter displays at Saks Fifth Avenue, but also so many people I need to get home. It's my quiet apartment. Monica and I are officially back from our festive activities, which means it's Friday evening, which means my work week vlog is officially over because it's the weekend. And don't worry, I'm gonna be starting a vlog literally five seconds after I end this vlog. But I did wanna recap everything I was able to read this week. I'm actually really pleased. I read over 400 pages, which was basically my goal. Uh, and I completed a book and I got a good way through another part of a book, both of which I really enjoyed. First and foremost, I read the last 203 pages, 223 pages of The Queen of Nothing. Uh, ultimately, I really liked this book. I really liked the series. I do think the third one was the weakest. Uh, I think I mentioned that. I just don't really feel like the reconciliation was given enough time to really add stakes. But regardless, I really liked the series, Angsty, 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 which honestly was what I was looking for. And then I started Ninth House, and I'm 200 pages into this, officially through my commute today. And I'm really liking it. It's super intriguing. It has like, it mixes so many different things well, like academia, magic, it's dark, there's a mystery, people are kind of jerky, but there's also people you really like. It just, it has some great intriguing elements and I really can't put it down. I'm still unsure of like what this mystery is, which I think is definitely on purpose, but I'm excited to find out. So I'm definitely gonna finish this book over the weekend. I'm liking it. I'm really glad I picked it up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this work week vlog and I'll see you soon with a weekend vlog soon. And then, you know, other things I'm just rambling now. Okay. Goodbye.